sugar are in this. Nine, eight, seven. How do you turn this thing on? For the longest time, I thought everything inside Trader Joe's was healthy, right? So today, we're gonna be going to Trader Joe's and show you what's a healthy grocery store run look like versus some things that you should like avoid. I'm recording this intro after we went to the grocery store. For the longest time, I thought everything inside Trader Joe's was healthy, right? It kind of has that reputation for being sort of like a health food store. Hello and welcome back for another video. I wanna give you a big hug. If you're new here, my name is Kara. I'm a holistic health coach and gut health specialist, and I've helped myself to heal my gut and lose 30 pounds, and I've also started to help many clients do the same in their own life. Some of the things that we're gonna find that we thought maybe were healthy before will actually shock you. There's a lot of added sugar that's actually hidden in some of these popular health foods that they do a really good job on their marketing and if you go to a party somebody's gonna bring like pumpkin cookies from Trader Joe's or a certain flavor of popcorn they do certain fun little themes into their seasonal products and it really just sells it for them. But I want to raise awareness for you. When you're going to the grocery store, I'm gonna show you how I read labels when I go there and how I shop healthfully at Trader Joe's. Let's dive in. As we go through the store, you'll notice me looking at a lot of products that are whole food in nature and putting them in my cart. And you'll see me examining a lot of the foods in the refrigerated section, the prepared and packaged food section, and even the frozen section where I read the label and then I put them back and I'm gonna to explain to you why I'm putting those foods back and why they don't end up in my cart and in my kitchen. A good rule of thumb that you know, you'll hear me talk a lot about on my channel is shooting for foods that don't have a very long shelf life. And you'll see me shopping the outer aisles is what they like to call it, where you know the food in the refrigerated section, it expires faster, but it's living food, it's fresh and it's usually the whole foods that you find on the outside. And then the packaged foods, the frozen foods are found usually on the inside of the grocery store. And that's where I spend the least amount of time doing my shopping. Beans, canned tunas, and then like coconut milk, I really like to find on the inner aisles. But for the most part, I'll spend most of my time on the outer aisles. Many of the foods in every grocery store, it's not just Trader Joe's. Foods all over the place have hidden sugars, seed oils, which are known to be inflammatory, and lots of ingredients to help keep foods stable on the shelf for a long period of time. And also, one quick note, just because it's organic doesn't mean it's healthy. Okay, let's go. <laughs> seem like a healthy choice but I'm gonna look at the back it says cauliflower almond butter garlic it has canola oil in it as the base and so to me eating seed oils is something that I try to avoid so I'm gonna put this back and make my own at home So you'll notice that I'm checking the label of this chicken. You're looking for a quick meal or something to put together for meal prep because you're short on time. Also, let's take a look at this chicken tortilla wrap. I used to just buy these for lunch at work all the time. I used to think like eating a wrap was the healthy choice. At least that's what I was told until I started to learn to read ingredients labels. And that was when I really started opening my eyes to what they put inside. So as you can see, this ingredients list is very long. It's full of a lot of different ingredients that I can't even really pronounce. And I don't know what these ingredients are. And this is a red flag to me, so I'm putting that back. And it's kind of sad because for the sake of convenience, I think that you know, these things are so quick and easy to just grab that it's it's almost sad how easy it is to just eat so many seed oils and so much added sugar. And this is why it's important to take time out of your day, out of your week to prepare foods that are actually going to help you build your health up. Soup is so good. Really good. It's full of like really basic stuff. And that's exactly what we're looking for. Basic ingredients like salt, broth, herbs. 
veggies. Yeah, you want to get one of these two of them? This is insane. So when I'm looking for nut milk, I'm looking for milk that has the shortest ingredients list possible and I'm looking for milk without carrageenan and texturizers because those ones, they can disrupt your endocrine system and they can also disrupt your digestive system. I'm looking at the cereals and the granola, I used to think that, like before I used to buy a lot of packaged granolas and cereals just because that was what I was raised to do. and I. I just kind of, I find that these are not as filling as I would like, so I find that I'm, I'm making more pr breakfast with protein, fiber, and unprocessed carbs like whole fruit and oats. Steel cut oats are good, groats are great. Um, you know, it's not a never food, of course I'm not, I'm not saying you should never eat this, but when it comes to when you can control that decision, when you're in your own home and you can get into a rhythm of like creating recipes that are gonna help you towards your goals and help you feel better. And maybe you don't even wanna lose weight, but there's certain things that happen as we age. Our things start to degenerate inside of our body and a lot of people become more at risk for heart disease and organ dysfunction as they age. And a lot of times that can be avoided by the things that you eat. Seed oils, preservatives, added sugars are all going to add to inflammation inside of your body and they're going to actually promote that premature aging of the inside of you and we don't want that. Hemp seeds are good. I'm not going to get those today. Let's see. I love having granola around. It's just so much sugar. I'll make my own at home. Even the organic one, 10 added sugars, cane sugar, so many cane sugar. So this is an example of what I used to get all the time, the almond butter granola bars, but um, it has canola oil in it, and one, two, two kinds of sugar in it. What can I do to eat like more vitamins and minerals on my plate and remove some of the seed oils that are found in a lot of these boxes? Go to eat. You're going to be getting all these seed oils and you're not going to have control over it. So what really matters is when you have control over it, you're actually making those decisions to reduce them in your diet. That's when it really matters. Okay, if you were to pick out a granola bar and say which, <laughs> which one is the healthiest here, which one would you pick? Like just off the top of your head. Because it's got crunch in it. <laughs> uh, sorry, I, I like any time the camera goes on me. I have to, I have to be funny because I like bitching. <laughs> uh, yeah, you just picked up like Reese. Cut it out. This one good? Yeah. Um, Actually, I the healthiest one. Yeah, the honestly. healthiest one. Why, why would you? Uh, I'm gonna be honest with you. I thought this is healthy because there's a guy rock climbing on it. I know that sounds really dumb, <laughs> but it's like, it's one of those things where I would have thought that at the time, you know, so, subconsciously, not conscious. Let me see that one. This is, this is, every time I run a half marathon, these are available in the mini form. They're giving them out. Okay, so we got organic rolled oats, brown rice. Brown rice syrup is another word for sugar. Organic tapioca syrup, another word for sugar. Rice flour, barley, malt. Extract, that's another word for sugar. Organic cane sugar, that's like the four kinds of sugar that we've found already. Soybeans, omega-6s. It's full of four kinds of sugar, a little bit of prebiotic fiber, chicory root at the end. It's not horrible, but it's not good. I don't like how many kinds of sugar are in this. All right, let's see about this popcorn. We think popcorn is healthy too, right? But looking at the back, it's, yeah, it's cane sugar. But you pointed that out right away. Maltodextrin, this is a form of sugar. Maltodextrin, more sugar syrup. So there's at least four kinds of sugar in this popcorn. Now, when you look at the front, you would not think that there's sugar inside of this. I mean, maybe a little bit. You'd think like, oh, it can't taste so good without a little bit of sugar. But when you think popcorn, you don't think that's a lot of sugar. So one of those, one of those sneaky foods, right? Another health food that I that I don't keep in my kitchen is cottage cheese. 
And if you were to get grass-fed whole milk cottage cheese, I would say that that is the best choice. I have intolerances to whey and casein, and those are inside dairy. So I could probably take enzymes to be able to eat this. But for me, I've learned I feel my best when I don't eat foods. Like getting cottage cheese, I would really encourage you not to take the low-fat kind that you see here because in order to make up for the fat that was not inside of this product, you're gonna see more added sugars inside to make up for the last flavor. I'm looking for eggs. The best kind of eggs out there is organic, pasture-raised eggs. It doesn't matter if they're white or brown. Tell us why caged eggs are no good. Because whenever, like, there's certain, like, loopholes they have, so cage-free, they're all still, like, in a giant, like, they're crammed into this tiny chicken house, and they're still on top of each other. And not only is that inhumane, it's also when eggs are going to be quality eggs, because when an animal's in stress, you're actually ingesting that stress. Yeah, it's, it's like a transfer of energy. It's basically like a bigger cage. Because How can they get away with that? Loopholes in the system, you know. How is that allowed? Uh, how is anything allowed? <laughs> really? Hummus and dips, check those for seed oil, soybean oil. This is why in Trader Joe's I don't like to get the dressings or a lot of their dips, because I've noticed that they don't have just the, the chickpeas and just the salt and pepper. It's like canola oil, soybean oil, and additives inside to help make it a texturized, you know, to help make it taste better. So better off if you go home and you make that yourself. Five grams. Ideally, what you want to find is it's 100% grass-fed. You want to see if you can find something that says 100% grass-fed and grass-finished. Right. But, you know, if you can't, I mean, I'm not that, we're not that strict. We still need this, but just know that that doesn't necessarily mean 100% grass-fed. It would say grass-finished. These prices are actually pretty good. word for commercially raised. So we decided we're gonna go ahead and try roasting this big chicken. Never done this before, we'll see how it turns out. Raw almonds only, perfect. This stuff you don't want to put in your body. You fall asleep on me? No, I'm really <laughs> trying to think. I'm like... <laughs> Oh, baby. Is it me? Mm -hmm. It's stuff. It's healthy, right? It's clean, so it's no cholesterol. What else are we putting in to make up for the taking away of the animal products? So, wheat flour, soy protein, soybean oil. So, right off the bat, I know that this is not going to be good for me. Just some chicken. That's one ingredient. I mean, sometimes. Frozen fish. This is good. Um, I used to eat these ahi tuna slabs. Really difficult sometimes with fish because you don't know what quality the fish. Especially with metals now, you shouldn't be eating a ton of fish anyways. Just try to have a balanced approach with fish because I know a lot of people that have had heavy metal toxicity from eating a lot of fish because they were told that that is the healthiest. Everything in moderation will live a sustainable and balanced life. The first ingredient is actually chicken. This isn't the worst of what I've seen today, but it's still got canola oil, sugar, and rice syrup, which is another form of sugar. Grass-fed cheese is the best kind of dairy that you're going to want to look for, so... Okay, so how did that go for you? Um, it's like so crowded in here. How long will this last? It differs. Sometimes it lasts, you know, longer than a week. Sometimes it lasts a little bit less. I'm making food. Yeah, she makes it, and I, uh, <laughs> I walk. I go on a hunt, and she makes it. She cooks my game, and I shoot. 
<laughs> so today's trip cost us 95.38 and you know I know that is a lot of money. The way that I started to look at it when I started to feel discouraged about the foods that I was buying and it was costing me a lot of money and I was spending like 400 to like 900 dollars a month sometimes on groceries and for some people that's their whole rent right? But as I spent money on healthy organic foods it's really helped me to understand this as an investment to my health and I'll be saving money on medical bills and expenses in the future. So I hope you got something helpful out of today's video. If you enjoyed this video, share this with somebody that you feel would benefit from. Which type of grocery store would you like me to tour next and see what kind of healthy grocery store run we can come up with?